Hey, what's up my dudes? Hope you're all having a fantastic Thanksgiving week. I know I sure am. I just got done with this sweet ring and I'm about to go to Denver for Thanksgiving, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. But anyways, let's just jump right into today's ring. This ring is going to incorporate carbon fiber and wood. And now for this one, I'm going to put the wood on the inside of the ring and then the carbon fiber on the outside. But you'll see I've already got these pre-made rings here. One has the wood on the outside. So I'm going to be adding these to my website just in time for Black Friday. By the way, check out the coupon code I'm throwing up in the description. We're doing a Black Friday sale. We got 40% off the entire site. Black Friday is the biggest sale I do all year. So if you've just been waiting to order a ring, I'd suggest using that discount code down in the description. It'll give you 40% off. So for this ring, I'm using this cherry wood. I really like cherry. It's a lighter color and it really shows some of its details a lot better because of that. And then I'll be using this standard piece of high density carbon fiber. The difference between high density versus regular carbon fiber is just the fact that high density carbon fiber has a lot more layers and each of those layers is a lot thinner. So you can see up close that there's a lot finer detail in this versus some of the other standard carbon fiber you might see. And using calipers, I measured these diamond hole saws, making sure I had the right size for the size of ring that I wanted to make. Then the process from there was pretty simple. I start with the smallest one and I cut the smaller circle out of the carbon fiber. And I'm making sure to keep it cool this whole time because carbon fiber has a resin in it that holds it together. And if you overheat that, it can actually melt and make the carbon fiber fall apart. So you gotta be careful with it. You gotta keep it cool. Then I'll be switching over to the larger diamond hole saw and that will cut out the outer diameter. And once we finish cutting through here, we're gonna be left with this donut shape. Now we've got that free. I'm going to need to clean it up a little bit later, but we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the wood blank now. I'm putting it in my lathe jaws and then using this boring bar to go ahead and cut all the way through the center. And I'm taking my time and being careful not to burn the wood. Wood can usually handle getting a bit of a burn to it. It just kind of has a charred look to it, which is fine. But this is stabilized wood, meaning it's been infused with plastic resin. So if I burn that, and it can actually affect some of the properties and waterproofing of the ring, so I definitely don't want to do that. So I'm taking my time, just slowly hollowing it out. I finally get it up to the size I want to put it on the mandrel. And once that fits on there, I go ahead and stick it on and then just set it aside. Now we need to put the carbon fiber in the lathe jaws and we need to do a similar process. I'm going to be hollowing it out slightly. Now it's very close to the final dimensions that I was going for, so I'm being careful. I'm doing very light passes and measuring in between. And after three or four passes, I've got it exactly where I want it. So you guys probably already know what I'm gonna be doing in this next step. I'm just cutting down the I'm just cutting down the cherry so that the carbon fiber will fit over it. And the same strategy I was using before applies for the outside. I don't want to burn anything. I want to be careful. Don't want any tear out, etc. So I'm being very gentle and I'm taking my time. Once I start zeroing in on that final outside diameter I want on this, I need to be very careful because even removing the slightest amount can cause it from the carbon fiber not even fitting over the ring to it being too loose. And so I'm just doing the smallest adjustments that I even can, the smallest little rotation on my lathe knobs. And I carefully get it to the point where the carbon fiber will go on, but not very easily. Okay, so the next step I need to take is to fuse the two pieces together. I'll be using some CA glue and I'll cover the entirety of the outside diameter of the cherry wood. Then I'm placing it down on this Arbor Press plate here. And then I'm taking the carbon fiber piece and setting it over there. And then using the press, I'm forcing the two together. And then I go ahead and spray it with some CA glue accelerator. And 
now this thing is permanently fused together. Okay, next step, we'll just be cleaning up the blank using this circular sander. All I'm doing is making all the surfaces flush. So sanding down any of that excess cherry wood and as well as some of the CA adhesive. Now we'll be doing the final shaping step. So we're putting the ring right back on the mandrel and then I need to trim down the carbon fiber so this isn't a such a big clunky ring. So at this point, I wanna be really careful with the ring. I don't wanna crack any of the carbon fiber, cause any issues there, because I've already put a lot of time into this. So I'm probably being a little over cautious here, but I'd honestly recommend that if you're doing it, just because you don't wanna be wasting your time if you have to start over. Now I'm stopping a little bit before the final outer diameter that I want with the lathe bit because that can leave somewhat of some tear out on the carbon fiber, leave little gaps and voids. And so I'm going to stop before and switch over to the Dremel because abrasives are a lot easier on the carbon fiber. So that's going to make for a much smoother finish at the end. So the sanding and polishing, that's all very straightforward. You've seen it before. I get it to the final size that I want with the Dremel. I round the corners just a little bit, and then I go through all the sandpapers, 220 grit all the way up to 800, and then I'm using these two polishing cloth. I just got some polishing compound on each of them. And then I've got the final surface of the carbon fiber finished. Okay, so we've got the outside finish, but we still need to go ahead and take care of the inside. So I'm going to apply some electric tape to the outside of the ring, and that'll protect the nice finish we've got on the carbon fiber from the lathe jaws that I'll be using. So now that we've got the ring ready to go, I'm just going to be using some rough sandpaper, smooth the ring out, smooth that edge, make it so it's comfortable on your finger. Just going through all the sandpapers and then polishing it when I'm done with that. And after that final polishing, this ring is finished. So let me know what you think about this ring in the comments. Let me know what you think of the design. Do you like the carbon fiber on the outside? Do you like it on the inside? I seriously can't decide. I really like the look of carbon fiber, but the wood just has some really awesome patterns and looks to it that I really think are cool. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out my website if you haven't already. I've got a link to that down in the description. And like I said earlier, I've got that coupon code down there as well. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, you should change that. I post a bunch of really interesting content there. I post plenty of ring pictures, plus a little behind the scenes stuff here at my shop. Follow me there and leave a comment. Let me know that you came from YouTube because I seriously love hearing from you guys. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and I will see you in the next video.